Welcome back everyone to another short video this time. I surely want to show you um, how I manage now the upgrade system. Once you pick up an upgrade and you move back to another scene in between back and forth, then the upgrade won't spawn again. Also another issue which occurred, uh, occurred with my uh, other script was that the particle effects won't spawn anymore when moving between scenes between the player. I fixed that by doing some small things in the scripts and I'll shortly show you what I did so you can also follow along when we move to the next part of the tutorials. First of all, one short trick which I want to show is if you play with player prefs and also when game testing here in Unity, it saves the player prep, so sometimes you spawn them at other locations, uh, especially with the system I use to spawn in different exits. You can actually just go to edit and clear all player prefs. That way it pretty much resets uh, the settings to the default. That being said, let's shortly go into the script. So what we have now, I put on the player, the player manager, what I did here was add the upgrade effect and player position. So the moment I hit an upgrade, the effect is spawned within, let's say, the player script and not anymore on the uh, upgrade effect. So at the double jump, what I did, I added a tag, it's called upgrade, and the same I did with the wall jump, I added a tag, it's upgrade. What I did then in the script is going to the player manager, um, before the player manager only had the public static player manager instance, I added here the public uh, particle system upgrade effect and public transform player position. And I added the private void on trigger uh, enter 2D, collider 2D, and then I did upgrade. I said if upgrade tag is upgrade, then I initiate, uh, let's say, the upgrade effect at the player position. That way I don't need this anymore, it's in the upgrade scripts. What I did in the upgrade script, so I, we have an upgrade wall jump and an upgrade double jump. What I did is I removed spawning of the particle zip there. So at the top, you don't have this part anymore. But what I did was I added a private void start, and then I'm just checking if wall jumping is already true or not. So if player controller, can wall jump is, is true, destroy game object. In the moment it's false, the upgrade will keep existing in the level. So once I pick it up, this changes to true, and then the game object uh, with the upgrade will be removed. For the upgrade double jump, I just did it with play controller dot available jumps if more than one. So at the start of the game, you have one jump, so it's fine. Then the, the upgrade will remain. And if it's more than one, it will destroy the game object. And that way, moving between, let's say, scenes after you pick up an upgrade will ensure that um, the upgrade is then removed. So you cannot pick it up twice. So these were just some small changes. So in this script, you pretty much uh, add um, this part here, public particles and transform. And we add here an on trigger enter collider the upgrade, make sure that your upgrades have the upgrade tag now uh, and then initiate the upgrade effect. We don't really need the debug here. No, it's a, it's a double debug. Let's, uh, let's remove this here as well. Um, that's fine. And uh, here we can also actually remove the debug once it's working. But here we added cross check if the upgrade was already picked up or not for the wall jump and the double jump. So that results then in what I showed you before. And coming back now to the player prefs, if I start now, ah, currently it's already in the right position, but let's shortly have a look once more. You pick up the upgrade once, the particle effect also works. Also when the player moves in between scenes, that's fine. I go back to the scene here again. The upgrade is now gone because it knows that I can already wall jump. So I can move here between these scenes and also pick up this upgrade and we have particle effects spawned with the sound. Great, it was just a short video. I hope it's helpful and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.